Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to uh, continue the UI table view uh, tutorial. So I already open a new project and select single view application. Click next, I'll name it UI table. View. Language Swift of course and device is iPhone. Click next. The first thing is we are going to start with the storyboard by deleting and uh, selecting and deleting the view controller and uh, uh, dragging the table view controller. Go to uh, attributes in inspector, tick on this uh, option to start the application with this uh, table view uh, controller. Uh, then select this uh, table view cell, go to Arpitude Inspector, then uh, identifier, name it cell. This identifier is so important, so in, uh, in, in the next tutorials I will, I will do something special using this identifier. Alright. Um, we have everything set up, I guess. Yes. Now, go to the and delete view controller dot swift. Then select the fold this folder and right click to import a new class from iOS source Coco Touch class. Click next. First UI table view uh, controller dot swift language swift next create next we need to import uh, to, um, uh, to create UI table view cell subclass will be cell <coughs> Now, both of them are ready to use in our UI table view controller. The first, uh, uh, the first one will be uh, uh, subclass of UI table view controller, with, which is this one. The second one is UI table view cell, which is this one. All right. So any outlet or element you. Uh, he put it here. You have to create outlet inside this UI table view cell, not inside this UI table view controller. Now, uh, let's connect this uh, UI table view cell with the class. Go to uh, Identity Inspector, then change the class name to Table View Cell. All right. Then select the the view controller table view controller. Then go to identity inspector. Then uh, change the class name to table view controller. And check the connection inspector that has dele uh, data source and delegate has been uh, connected. All right. Go back. Then go to your uh, table view controller dot swift class. As you can see, there are comments which are uh, uh, functions, but inside the comment. So delete this comment. All we need is only this these functions. The first one will be number of sections in table view. The second will be number of rows in section. The third will be cell for row index at index path. These are the main functions that we are going to use in storyboard. So, sorry about that. We have number of sections as I told you in the previous uh, previous uh, tutorial, that we have sections. 
in our case we have only one section uh, and one cell the second uh, the second uh, the second function we have number of rows so we'll return the number of cell number this is row 1 2 3 4 5 so we will return the number of uh, rows in section <sighs> the last one we configure the cell here let's go back to storyboard and give some space like 70 of height then drag label All right. Now it's good. All right. Go to RP uh, to assistant editor. Editor. Select the UI table of your cell. Go to here to manual to UI table view to UI table to UI table of view folder. Then select the table of view cell dot swift class to connect this outlet inside the UI table of view cell. Select and control the drag. Name this outlet label. Alright. Type UI table UI label. Sorry. Strong uh, storage uh, will be strong. Alright. Let's go back. Table of view, uh, table of view controller. First, we have to declare a constant that contains uh, an array of names. So let uh, names equals to open square bracket to quotation and close it. The first name will be Swift. The second will be um, Apple. The third will be iOS. Then um, the last will be Mac. All right. This array, uh, we will count this array, the number of elements inside this array and return this number inside the number of rows so we know that the cell uh, at index 0 has swift the cell at index 1 will be apple and so on so here we just only return uh, names equals uh, sorry dot count that's it. The number of sections, the number of sections will be equals to one because we only have one section, right? Then the cell for row at index path, we have a constant that called cell equals to table of view dot dq reusable cell for identifier open the parentheses the name of the identifier which is cell all right for index path index path as ui table view cell if you didn't create ui table view cell class you just keep it like this but we have done already so we change it to you uh, table table view cell and hit enter now everything is ready now let's show the names inside the cell so to configure this cell you you should uh, use cell uh, constant dot label dot text equals to names of 
uh, uh, square bracket, open a square, a square bracket, index path, dot row as square question mark as string. Let's build to check it out. Build succeeded. All right. So uh, cell is a constant that of type table view cell has uh, identifier called cell uh, and cell of type table view cell has uh, IB outlet called label, which is this one label and connected to the storyboard dot text uh, the property of UI label equals to names this array uh, square bracket index dot row that is the start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on as string that transform this uh, count to string all right let's run and check it out as you can see that we have uh, Swift, Apple, iOS, Mac now let's add some other like Steve Jobs and run again alright it's here all right it's real easy all you have to do is implementing these three functions the main functions actually these are very important if you want to customize uh, I will going to show you how to do it in the next tutorials don't be rush <laughs> all right so sorry about that I'm little bit nervous today see you to the next tutorial bye